Hello, good evening. How are you? Buenas noches. Good evening, sir. Good evening, good evening, good evening Mr. Luis. Good evening, Rufino. Good evening, Patricia. Good evening, Jenny and Hugo. Okay, we're about to begin the last class. The last class of this course, Intermediate. So, uh, how do you feel right now? How are you doing? Um, so, so, is it raining there? No, teacher, uh, it's very hot, the climate. It's hot, oh. don't oh. rain. It's not, it's not raining it's yet. It's not raining yet. Yeah, in my house is raining a little bit, but I think it's getting better now. Um, yeah. Yes, very good. I received your presentation. Yes. You, yes. Okay. But you are you you have it right. You are going to present it today. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Okay. Uh, that will be the homework for today. Remember that we have presentations. Rufino, how are you today? I'm fine. I'm a little bit a little bit tired, mm -hmm. but I'm fine. Okay, you're fine. Okay, a little bit tired. Okay, no problem. Now um, we almost finish uh, the 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 class. I don't know. It, was this the first English class that that you take, like the first course, or were you studying since basic in these remote classes? What? <laughs> 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 no, que si sí, esta clase eh, intermedio es la primera que usted empezó a tomar o empezaron todos desde, de, desde básico. I, I am, I start, I start en, en pre-intermedio, pre módulo one. Ah, oh, ok. So you started there with another class, with another teacher. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. Um, always uh, change teacher in the the different model. Uh, and in case in, in, for me, uh, not repeat repeat uh, teacher. All, yeah. All, all teacher different teacher. Yeah, they they change right. If you have intermediate, mm -hmm. they change. If you are in basic, they change. Okay, I understand. And uh, uh, good evening, Stella. Good evening, Olivia. And we are just waiting. We are just waiting uh, for your classmates and we are going to begin. And we are going just to introduce the, uh, the, the topic, right? The, the homework. Somebody sent, I don't know if it is here or not. Let me check here. Because somebody sent me a video. I don't know if you watched the video that they sent to the group. Uh, it was really cool. I don't know if this person will present the video. I guess it was Carla Ayala. But she sent the video already. So let me see here. I don't know if she's going to talk about it or her plan was just to send the video. Let me see here. Okay, it's here. So what we're going to do right now is just to review a little bit of what we were studying um, yesterday. <laughs> what is that noise? <laughs> the aliens. Okay, now uh, this is what we were studying here uh, the presentation, right? We have to uh, recommend a place to travel. We have to use the vocabulary that we have studied in section five. And we have to try to convince your classmates to travel to this specific place. We have to explain different activities. You can do there and also experiences they will be, uh, they will uh, live by going there. Like what kind of, what this person should, should this person see and do what kind of food would you recommend? What kind of clothes do you recommend to bring? All of that, okay? And yesterday we were studying uh, the models. 
So try to use models. You should, you must, uh, you had better, right? All of those, all, all of that vocabulary that we studied. And then if we have time, we are going to just to review the vocabulary and do some exercises. But I already shared this information with you, I guess. So if you have any question, just let me know. Okay, let me see here. So just let me check here. So I guess that we are going to begin right now. Carla Ayala is there. Are you there, Carla Ayala? No, right. Okay, she hasn't connected. Probably uh, because in some places uh, it's still raining. Probably they have some problems. But we are going to watch the video that she prepared. Um, it is a really creative way to present your the material, right? The things that she has done. And she says, trip to New York. Let's go. Okay, I don't know if you will be able to hear it. Can you hear it? Yes? Yes. Okay, very good. So we are going, to, first we are going to watch uh, this video and then you can present your, your, your trip, right? Your recommendations. Teacher, the song is off. Sorry? Sonido, song, off. Yes. Okay. Let me see if there's something else or it's just the video from New York, right? <laughs> because it's kind of long. At the beginning, she was uh, providing the recommendations and everything as you were able to see. And we are going to check if it is correct how she used the, the recommendations because this is just a music video, right? So I guess that this is the end of the presentation, right? Like the music video. Okay, this is from Carla Ayala, right? So she was doing some recommendations about a trip to New York. For example, here she said, you should change money before you go. Okay, change money or exchange money? You should exchange, right? Exchange the currency. So that would be the correct way to say it, right? Exchange money. Then uh, she wrote here, you should have a camera. Very good, that's a good recommendation. And also you don't should forget to pack your medicaments. Okay, now we're going to correct it here. Uh, uh, let's see if it is correct or not. You don't should, is that correct or not? No. No, what, is the, what is the correct way to say it? Shouldn't. 
shouldn't, right? Or should not, right? You don't should, no. So that would be the correct way to say it. And medica, medicament, yes, it can say medicament or med medication, right? It can be both. So that's okay. You should have also your passport. That's okay. And you should buy a sweater. You should buy a sweater. Very good. So she was just uh, showing there the recommendation from going uh, to go to New York, right? And also you should eat a food delicious, food. a food delicious or delicious food. Delicious food. Delicious food, right? You should eat yes. delicious food. Delicious. Very good. Yes, that will be the presentation for her. Probably she won't be able to, to connect to the class. But no problem, it was really good and extra points because she did a video, right? It was very creative. Okay, now we are going to present your, or we are going to have your presentations, right? Uh, who wants to begin to talk or uh, to give recommendations about your, the place that you are going to present? Volunteers, only one. Alguien que haya hecho la tarea? Nobody. <laughs> in my case, in uh -huh. my case, uh, I, I prepare, I prepare a uh, hover work, but I, I, I don't, I didn't have time for a presentation. But I have. Uh, you have the recommendations. You you wrote down the recommendations. I have. Uh, Okay, very good. No problem. Uh, if you if you didn't prepare a presentation or a video like Carla did, no problem. You can you can provide your your recommendations for the trip. Yes, I have. Okay. Uh, my homework is uh, a trip to Azogues, Ecuador. Mm -hmm. Recommendation. Uh, say. Travel to Azogues, Ecuador. Azogues is uh, 2,580 2, meters above sea level. Mm -hmm. It's a place with a very pleasant climate. In the morning, about uh, uh, 70 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Azogues, Azogues is close to Cuenca, another very nice city. Uh, to travel to Azogues, you, you must wear clothes for the cold. Mm -hmm. For those who are hypertensive, they should not forget their medicine. Mm -hmm. If you want to go camping, I recommend the retreat center, retreat, La Asuncion where you can make games, but you should not make bonfires. Mm -hmm. you, you don't need visa for to travel to Ecuador, but you must have to vaccinate anti-COVID-19. Okay, oh, very oh, only that's that. it. That's a, okay, very good. Very good, Rufino, very good. So Azogues, Ecuador, very good. So when you're talking about the climate, you were talking about it was really cold, right? The climate. It's very, it's very, uh, it's, it's climate uh, very nice. I I like it, I like it uh, to live in Ecuador. <laughs> yes, yeah, because it's here nice. it's really, really hot. But when we talk about uh, the climate, we can say also the weather, right? Weather, uh, weather. it's really, really cold, right? But very good. And understand. hypertension, oh, that's okay if you say hypertension. But uh, also we can say blood pressure is another option, right? Mm -hmm. Blood pressure, la presión arterial, ¿verdad? And okay. also you said that you also ha have to be... Uh, vaccinated right vaccines for COVID-19 right to go there yeah. 
Yes. Okay, very good. So you don't need you don't need a passport, but you need to be vaccinated, right? Okay, very good. Thank you, Rufino, for your participation. That's okay. If you didn't prepare your presentation, that's okay because we like to practice like the speaking. But pre like presentation is just a help, an extra help for you, right? So you can show it to your classmates. Um, another person, please. Another volunteer. Okay, teacher. Hi, everyone. Who wants to do it? Yeah. Okay, you said uh, Mr. Luis, and then we have... Liliana. Liliana, okay, very good. So, okay, after uh, Mr. Luis, you can continue, okay? Okay. Okay, you can go ahead, Mr. Luis. Okay. Uh, my presentation is, uh, are the reasons why I recommended visiting Medellin? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, but first, you should change dollar for Colombian peso and after that, um, you should buy your airplane ticket. Mm -hmm. Yes. And when you arrive, you should wear a sneaker to get to know the botanical garden well. Mm -hmm. And when are you in Medellin, you also should visit Pueblito Paisa. Mm -hmm. Pueblito Paisa is, is, is very, very, very important. And you should get to know Plaza Botero. Uh, Botero, the Botero Square should be visited because it is located in the center of Medellin and has a lot of statues of the famous sculptor Fernando Botero. Mm -hmm. um, you should visit, you should never miss a ride on the subway cable that take you to RB Park. RB Park, um, uh, the Metro Cable is a, a unique experience, experience and transport you to the RB Park. RB Park is a, which uh, located in the up, um, the parte alta, perdón, up, up, upper part mm -hmm. of Medellin, and during the ride to the park, you can enjoy a great view of the city because it's very, very uh, up, up, okay. really high. Uh, really, very high. Okay. And finally, uh, you should never miss the charisma and human quality of the paisas. Paisas is the name of the old people who live in Medellin. Uh, the culture and the education people and make you feel at home. And personally, I am grateful to the people of Medellin. That's it. It's okay, very good, very good presentation. A lot of information and a lot of places, a lot of recommendations, really good. And also you sent uh, the, the presentation, right? I'm going to show yes. it here just to have more information about Medellin because I've never gone to Medellin before. So we have it here. It said, but first you should uh, change or exchange dollars for Colombian peso. You, you said, right? That's your yes. presentation. Yes. You should exchange. buy your A plane. Yes, exchange. Ex exchange. Airplane. Exchange. Yes, because change money, cambiar dinero, it's kind of okay. different, right? Also, okay. when you arrive, you should wear sneakers to get to know the botanical garden. So this is yes. the botanical garden. Yes. Okay. Wow. Is, this, is this a picture that you that you 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 took, or you? Yes. This, okay, that's a picture yes. you took. Okay, very sí. good, very good. And then when you are in Medellin, you also should visit Pueblito Paisa. So this is the Pueblito Paisa, right? Pueblito Paisa is the recommendation because um, 
is the uh, representation of what the town of Antioquia are like. Ah, okay, okay. And and you have yeah. you have like the typical food, right? From Pueblito typical Paisa. food, yes. The okay. Pueblito Paisa is the the food. Uh, the first food for the people in the uh, Medellin. I like. Okay, very good, very good. It's yes. complete. Yes, it's very complete. <laughs> super, it's very, super, yes, super complete. <laughs> Let me see here. What else? You should get to know Plaza Botero. That this is Plaza like Botero. the the fat statues, right? They're, they're really yes. big, right? It is big, big, big. It's uh, more or less a. 20, 22, 24 statues. Okay, okay, yes. yes. Actually, yes. that's very famous, right? Yes, famous in the and world. Yes, around the world. You should never miss a ride on the subway cable that takes you to the RV park. So, yes. That's, is, it, is it really high? Yes, right? Yes. It's uh, the, in the in Fondo and the uh, R. Uh, RB Park because the the highest are the A one two 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 hundred three thousand meter two hundred three thousand okay and yes. is that the only way to go to RB Park um, or can I go walking well, <laughs> if if I know is the other way. Well, I know I will not know. That's the only because, way you know. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah, that would be a great experience. I I am afraid of heights, so probably I will look for another option. But if you know, I don't have another option. I will go there. No problem, right? <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. And then says, and finally, you should never miss the charisma and human quality yes. of places that you were saying that these they are very gentle and very educated hey is uh, uh, the people is uh, super super a great pool okay. of Medellin. yes with okay. me with my family because i i well i say i is i talk with the the um, sur surgery sur surgery the my son mm -hmm. um, in Medellin is uh, was uh, was um, ahí fue in Medellin this this the place of the when in the hospital Pablo Tobón. So you took, you found the surgeon of your son there in Medellin, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. And you talked to him there. Very good, very good. You see, it's a very good presentation because in the presentation, you're able to see the place. I've never seen like this, the RV Park or the Botero Plaza Botero or Pueblito yes. Paisa. So we have an idea, right, of different places. Yes. But yes. if you didn't, I know that you're kind of busy, but this was this was, this was was really great. Thank you very much, Mr. Luis. And Thank now you, um, I think we have uh, Liliana, right? Hi, yes, uh, I didn't have a presentation, but I did my homework. <laughs> okay, okay, no problem. Okay, um, the place is Las Hojas Resort. Mm -hmm. And if you want to travel to Las Hojas Resort, you should not bring your own food, even though that the food is expensive there, but you shouldn't because they do not allow food on the facilities. and if you bring your food, you have to pay fees. Basically, you have to buy everything there. Um, besides that, you must wear a swimwear to avoid any accident on the pools. And something really important that you should have to take care of the facilities, like your room and everything there. Because if not, you have to pay like a penalty fee as well. For example, if you have lost a towel or something, you have to pay it. <laughs> Another thing that I want to point out is that 
if you go to the beach, you have to follow the instructions. Like if someone authorized, uh, tell you don't go inside because it can be dangerous, um, you shouldn't go because maybe next time if you want to visit the place again, maybe you won't be able, I mean, you won't be accepted, accepted again for your behavior. And last thing, that you should do is wear like shirts and t-shirts because it's really hot there. Um, but at the end, it was a really, really good place, but you really have to read before go to that place <laughs> because there are <laughs> a lot of things that you have to do. But definitely, it was a good experience. Okay, very good, Diana. So it was that's Ojas Resort, right? Yeah. It was. Uh, they are. They have a lot of a, a lot of rules, right? You should, yes. you should do that. You should do that. You should. Okay. Sometimes it's good because you can avoid accidents and different things, right? And also, some yeah. people they like as uh, as um, a memory, right? As a, como recuerdo, they take the towels. Mm -hmm. The soaps, they take everything, the the everything. <laughs> but that was really yes. good. Even uh, wear the mask because I went like one year ago and it's like you all the time have to wear the mask. <laughs> it's something uncomfortable uh, in those places, but I mean, we have to follow the instructions. Okay, very good. But even though you have to follow the instructions, you, you had a great time, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> Okay, very good. Time. Very good. Thank you very much for uh, your explanation presentation, Liliana. And I don't know if we have some, somebody else. Somebody else? To provide a presentation, I guess somebody else sent me the information. Okay, uh, let me show you, and I don't know who was this person. I don't know if it is here, right? Because who sent this presentation? Costa del Sol. Jenny Sanchez. Okay, Jenny Sanchez. I, I didn't make the presentation. Uh-huh. But, you, but where... I some recommendation. Some... Okay. Okay, but you didn't, you didn't send this presentation from Costa del Sol. No, no. Oh, okay, okay. So probably somebody else. Yeah. Ah, okay. So after Jenny, you can continue, okay, Patricia? No, sorry. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Yo la he hecho. Pero un poquito, poquita, porque no tuve mucho tiempo hace como media hora la hice. Okay, yeah, yeah, no problem, no problem. You can show just some pictures and that that's enough, right? Just that would be just to help you present your your the place, right? But we are going to start with Jenny and then uh, uh, Patricia and then Estella, okay? And then the, the rest who raise your, your hand, okay? So go ahead, Jenny, with the recommendation. My recommendation, uh I love Although it's from a specific place. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you travel anywhere, you should take into account some recommendations. Mm -hmm. You must check your vehicle before leaving home. You must take, you must make sure you have your identification and vehicle insurance. If you travel a campaign, you must make sure that they use the seabird. Mm -hmm. You should carry medicine for common illness like stomachache or headache. Mm -hmm. If you have permanent medication, uh, make sure you have, have it with you. If you drink intoxicating beverages, you must delegate to another person in charge of driving. Mm -hmm. And finally, enjoy with responsibility. Okay, very good. Very good recommendations, Jenny. Even though it was not in a specific place, but you did it generally. Like, like yeah. uh, you have to wear seat belts, 
you have if you get sick right you have to take medication and insurance very good thank you very much jenny now Thanks. we are going with I, let me see here okay patricia no no worries uh, but if you want to, you can participate after Olivia. Olivia, did you do the presentation? Um, hi, Peter. Yes. Okay. Uh, which place are you going to talk about? Or you're going to present? Oh, Guarepeque. Very good. Yes. I can see it. Ah, solo que no puedo ver completa la imagen. Bueno, the place that I recommend to go uh, vacation is Lake Guatepec. Um, the Lake Guatepec is a lake of volcanic origin. Uh, Localized in it takes a bit to get there. The road is sloppy. Pendientes, tiene muchas pendientes para llegar al lugar. Ajá, many hills. Recomend, de hecho, uh, you must wear comfortable clothes. You, you must buy food, water, um, uh, water, energy. Uh, you must bring your identity documents. Uh, you must carry a fifth uh, ID. Um, most not, you should not carry a passport. You must not carry a hand like a jacket. You do not need a membership card. We do, I recommend it. It has very pleasant weather and is an ideal place to practice diving, sailing, canoeing, swimming, and water, water skiing. Only. Okay, very good, very good. Very good, very cool pictures, very cool uh, presentation, and very good. So uh, we can say hills, pendientes, or slopes, right? Slope. Como colinas, right? Very okay. good. And Cuaripecle, right? First is the name, and then we can say lake. And okay. it's it's located, right? Located. Okay. It's kind of yeah, kind of complicated. Located. Identity. You need your identification or identity. You said. Yeah, bring your identity, your ID documents or identification. Luggage is kind of difficult, also to. To, to say right luggage and diving right diving that is to dive under the water right but it was it was really cool and you have a 10 olivia very good thank you very much now we have griselda right now we're talking about the lake or the peck lake now Griselda, are you ready for your presentation uh, yes, teacher, only not a presentation in, in computer, mm -hmm. but no, no more time for my work. Yes, I understand. Yeah, uh, so <clears throat> my uh, place mm -hmm. recommendation mm -hmm. or my recommendation the place. Is the uh, is the river Termos or Termos del Rio? Okay. Yeah, Termos del Rio is okay. Yes. Okay, Termos del Rio is beautiful for the hot springs that feel the that feel is pulled. Uh, it has glass courts to play and share with friends. Mm -hmm. 
eh, de, de canchas. Eh, also, you can take short rider, riders on horse back. Perdón, sí, on horse back. Eh, there we find a small restaurants with a rich variety of food and, and drink. Eh, and eh, es, eh, got travel, travel, travel drinks. Eh, you have to bring swing wear and sandals eh, in, in my back in, in my backpack um, in water in, in cash uh, only that okay okay very good thank you very much Griselda so you were talking about Tel Telmos de Rio so you can ride a horse right there montar a caballo you can do that yeah. Okay, so you can yeah. say ride a horse, you can ride a horse, eh, or yeah. take a ride on a horse, and variety, right? Variety, variedad, variety. Ah, oh, variety. Yeah, variety. Variety, variety yeah. Variety. It's kind of, yeah, it's kind of complicated to say variety or some words, but it was really good, very informative. Thank you, Griselda. Okay, who, want, who wants to participate? Let's say, Gabriela, are you there? Are you ready for your presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, you can go ahead, Gabriela. I talk about the Cerro Verde. If you are a lover of other walks and the beautiful landscapes in the park, access to the summit and the three volcanoes is allowed. It's a nice experience. But if you are an elderly person, you should be accompanied by your relatives. We must go prepared to the, to the walk I think I will walk the children and early. We have to carry a first aid kit. I recommend that this place for people who are have physical resistance. You find out at the Hotel La Montaña in another restaurant. Only that. Okay, very good. <laughs> very good. So Cerro Verde, you have to be if you are an elder person, you have to be accompanied by relatives, right? Yes. You have to be with your relatives. And you recommend also a first aid kit and yes. go to the restaurant. What is the name of the restaurant? Uh, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember, but I, uh, you, you each, uh, anyway. Yeah, because I thought that the restaurant's name was La Montaña, but it's not La Montaña, right? No, la, it's a, um, hot, um, a hotel. hotel. A hotel. hotel, okay, very good. Okay, very good. Thank you very much for your presentation, Gabriela. Very good, very good pictures. And now I think that we have Astrid Flores. Are you ready, Astrid Flores? Yes, teacher. Okay. But I don't have a presentation. Okay, no problem, no worries. Okay, I did my homework about our country. Mm -hmm. To visit it to El Salvador, you must bring with you your passport or your ID card if you are from Central America. We have a lot of beautiful places to visit, but if you want to enjoy and swim at the beach, you shouldn't go to the La Libertad Park because despite being a great, great tourist attraction, it's a beach that doesn't have sand and it's mostly stone. And also because the weight of the fish and the shellfish that are sold there are thrown in that part of the sea. 
To avoid this situation, you should visit the beaches in La Cosa del Sol. You could enjoy more your stay. You can go to the public beach in that sun, but in vacation, it's really crowded. So, so you should make a reservation in a hotel or you should rent a ranch. It's important that you keep in mind that the sun in that area is very strong and you can easily burn yourself. So you must wear sunscreen. However, if you visit El Salvador, you must to eat pupusas. I promise you will not regret it. And finally, remember to bring comfortable and light clothing because in general, we have a, a hot weather. Just that. Okay, very good, very good Astrid. Now you, you should uh to visit El Salvador, right? Very good. You should you shouldn't so, uh, so you you wouldn't recommend to go to El Puerto de la Libertad. To swim, no? No, not to swim, right? <laughs> just to eat, right? Just to eat, right? Yes, just to eat. Okay, and then go to the Costa del Sol and all the beaches, very good. And also you uh use all the like the the adverbs, the sequ sequence adverbs, right? Finally, you added that to the presentation. So that was really good. Very good. Thank you, Astrid. Do we have Thank another you. person? Estela. Okay, Estela, are you ready with your presentation? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Um, to, just to, bueno, my presentation is sobre la Costa del Sol. Oh, that's the one that you that you did. You did it. Uh, uh, do you want me to present it? Yes. Because I have it here. Okay, this is your presentation, right, Stella? Okay, very good. Yes, teacher. I no tuve mucho tiempo, pero. No, it's okay. It's a, it's a cool presentation. No problem. Okay, you should wear shoes. So screen because to wash so can burn your skin. And you have to carry enough money in the gas you need to do something. Something. Mm -hmm. You must not forget to, offer, to, to write your documents. You always have to work them for anything. Okay. You can not forget to bring flowers to return home. Mm -hmm. You can make the reservation five days in advance. Uh, it's better before and not after. Mm -hmm. um, only. Only that. Okay, very good. Sorry. Yeah, it was a cool, uh, a cool presentation, even though it is really short. It helped you a lot. And let me see here, you should wear sunscreen. What is sunscreen, Estela? Uh, sunscreen. Uh -huh. What is Quem sunscreen? Quemar la piel. You should wear sunscreen. Es, um, protector solar. Protector solar, very good, because too much sun can burn your skin, very good. And you have to carry enough money in case you need to buy something. You must not forget to bring your documents. You always have to walk them for anything. Walk them, I probably use them, right? And you can make the reservation five days in advance. It is better before and not after. Very good. You have a 10, Stella. Very good. Thank you very much. Do we have another volunteer? Me coach, Volu me, coach. me teacher, sorry. <laughs> well, I, I am trying to apply to a call center. Okay, no problem. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Well, I didn't do my presentation, but imagine you, we are in a travel agency for more excitement. Okay. And I am your travel agent. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? In our country, we can't enjoy the cold weather like snow, etc. So I recommended you that you should travel to a cold country like Swiss and you should do a lot of things like snowboard or do a uh, snowballs and if you travel to Swiss and uh, you shouldn't go out without your sweater or your boots or your cargo pants mm -hmm. and uh, 
this is my recommendation of you if you want to acquire a new experience in your life and uh, but if you are a person like uh, like a masochist is the correct word mm -hmm. you should travel to a dangerous countries like brazil or el salvador or countries but you shouldn't travel with your with your eye how can i say joyas i don't remember the word how can i say joyas jewels you shouldn't travel with your jewels or uh i don't remember how can i say caro i forgot expensive expensive things because if you leave the airport one bro in the highway hey man give me your jewels etc so if you want to uh, live a new friend you should travel to a dangerous country and this is my presentation I okay <laughs> <laughs> very creative yeah very creative no problem uh so your recommendation is to go to swiss and not to go yes. to el salvador or brazil or, brazil. or latin america yeah. in general yes all <laughs> good, very good job. yeah but, but remember that yes go ahead but uh, i think the only two countries that you can visit is i think united states and canada mm -hmm. and because they are latin america is it's dangerous, it's the same thing. If you leave the airport, you will be, you will be, I forgot this word. Steal it, no, so you will, no, no, you will steal. Yes. You will be robbed. Robbed. Yeah, you can say robbed, yeah, you can say robbed. Yeah, perfect. But, okay, but Swiss, Swiss, right, the country, Swiss, yes. Switzerland, yes. it's Switzerland. Switzerland. Switzerland, yeah, it's perfect. snowboarding, okay, very good. Yes, uh, remember that you have to offer uh, different countries, right? Not only Switzerland, yes. but yes. it was really cool, Bob Murray. You have a Thank 10. You. Very Perfect. good. Thank you. Now, another volunteer? Someone else who wants to participate? No one else? That's it for presentations? Okay, because we were missing... Let's see here, Alba, Angela, Estela, Alejandra. But if you, if you, if you don't, if you didn't do your presentation, that's okay, right? Thank you for the ones who participated and did took the time to did a video or a presentation. That's okay. Now we're going to finish uh, the class. Let me see because we still have some time for some for some you see here we still have time for some activities let me close all the rest of the presentations and okay we have to but I think that we don't have enough time. We're going just to review a little bit. We are not going to do it like completely because we had another exercise, like a reading exercise, but it's, too, uh, it's a little bit long, I guess. I guess that we can do it, but uh, the reading is kind of long. For example, we have here uh, the information about uh, another place, right, to travel, which is Bangkok. Bangkok is a really far away country, and uh, we can um, we can read it just to uh, get more information, also more vocabulary. And we are going to read the text and do these exercises. Now, first of all, we are going to guess, right? We are going to guess the new vocabulary. For example, we have here. Um, we have here the, the meaning, and then we have here the word, right? So we are going to guess which one goes to which one. We are going to match it, okay? Number one, it says dirty from traffic or chemicals. Which one is the correct word? Polluted, express, noodles, alternative, I stand. Polluted. Polluted, very good, polluted. 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 
polluted is dirty from traffic or chemicals. Next one, real or normal for a place, not especially for tourists. Alternative. Alternative, very good. Another way to do something. Alternative. Alternative again. Okay, we are going to check the answers. Past. Express. 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 Very good. A table where food or other things are sold in the market. A stand. A stand. A stand. Very good. A long, thin food made from flour, water, and eggs. Noodles. Noodles, right? Fideos. Noodles. Noodles. Very good. Noodles. So that's correct. I guess I have the. Okay, I have here the, the answers. So I did it, uh, dirty from traffic or chemicals is polluted, okay? Real or normal for a place, not especially for tourists, is authentic, right? Algo que para los personas del lugar es normal, pero para los turistas no, ¿verdad? Uh, another way to do something alternative, uh, this is alternative, another way to do something, fast, express, a table where food or other things are sold in a market, a stand and a long thin food made from flour, waters and eggs, noodles, okay? Now, uh, this is the reading that I prepare, but I guess is, I, I, is, is, is it an option or I, I, I will give you the option right now. Do you want me to read it or do you want to read it? Because um, I will get, I, I will have just uh, three, if you want to practice, right, your reading, the pronunciation, uh, I will just need three volunteers, one for the first paragraph, another one for the second one, and another one for the third one. Oh, sorry, five, because we have five, right? So I need five volunteers. Or do you want me to read it? Quieren que yo lo lea? O quieren leerlo ustedes? We want to read it. Right, yes. We try. <laughs> yes, you have to try, right? Yes, I was asking <laughs> you because of the time. Okay, Rufino, you can begin and then Jenny will continue and then we are going to choose another uh, another classmate, okay? Okay, are you able to read, Rufino? Or okay. is this? The yes. first, uh, the letter, uh, I try to uh, see. Okay, it's, okay. Uh, it's like, where are you traveling? to the island of the mountain of Thailand. You're likely to spend at least one night in the in, the, in its capital of, uh, city on the way. Bangkok might be noisier and polluted, but it's also an, an exciting, an exciting city with, with plenty of things to see and do. Why not make it a longer stay? The microphone, please. Sorry, <laughs> sorry again. Yeah. So it says here uh, a travel guide. Thank you, Rufino, for your participation. But it says whether you're traveling to the islands, right? Iceland, it's the country. Iceland is Islandia, pero Isla is island. Okay, so we have to make sure about that. Now we have another uh, island. Yes, Isla is island. Now where to stay? Who wants to read where to stay? I teacher. I am teacher. Okay, go ahead, Jenny. Where to stay? The K the K -O, or K -O San, Ro San Ro was a famous traveler spot even before Leonardo DiCaprio's character in the film The The Beach stayed there. But it's noisy, not very pretty and not very tight. Mm -hmm. For something for something more authentic. Brad Cannon offers an altern alternative place to stay with its fantastic street markets where everyday Bangkok people eat, work and live. It's not, it's not as convenient for the main tourist sites, but is 
has a sky train station so you can be at the grand palace in 20 minutes very good very good pronunciation jenny very good now how to get around another person please bank of traffic can be uh, next month sure you can easily take a taxi if you want to spend hours it's true in traffic jams, but there are too much very wide ways to get around the city. To explore the temples, temples, and historical cities, cash and express, boat, river taxi, or long time, long time, but a long show. Raya, River and the Canals. For, modern, for the modern part of city, the strata is fat. Shops try to travel from the river to the shopping malls and nightlight of service and the famous Katuchak Street Market. Very good, Estela. Very good. Remember, it's historical sites. Sitios históricos. How do we say that? historical sites very good the restaurants really good uh another volunteer please just the, the last two where to eat and what to do okay alejandra go ahead where to eat okay the simple answer is everywhere thai street food is on the best in the world and for around five dollars you can eat in feeling in feeling and delicious meal mm -hmm. uh, some food stands have a little plastic seats where you can sit and eat and then and they cook the same dish over and over like fried chicken or rice or pad side noodle, no, no, noodles noodles head for chinatown yogurt street and choose whatever looks most interesting from the many excellent Chinese and Thai restaurants and stands. Okay, very good, very good pronunciation. And the last one, what to do? Who wants to read the last one? Olivia, okay, go ahead, Olivia. What to do? After you visit the many cities, like the Gian Buddha, at the temple of Wat Fu and the spectacular Grand Palace and shopper at Chatuchak Market. Check out the snack farm and watch the live snack show. You can even those snacks yourself if you want to. Okay, very good. You can even touch a snake yourself if you want to. So uh, main sites, right? Sitios principales, main sites. And also uh, live, uh, the live show, live show, right? It's kind of different live and live, right? Live is that is uh, that you're seeing it in person, right? Now um, it's 8.54, I guess so we have like four minutes. I, I have here, if you pay attention to the uh, reading, I have here just true or false options, right? For example, wine time is enough to see Bangkok. True or false, right? Kao San, oh. false, right? False, okay, we will see that. Kao San Road is authentic Thai area of the city. True or false? Phra Kanon is uh, further away from the main tourist sites than Kao San Road is. The riverboat taxis often get stuck in traffic too. Taking the SkyTrain is faster way to see the city than going by taxi. You need to choose where to eat carefully. What is the name of a place you might see in the film, The Beach? And an alternative route to route through the city, right through the city. So we are going to check this. Um, let me see here. These exercises right now. If you want to, you can participate, or if you want to, you, you just let me know the, the option, okay? 
we are going to play right now. I know that it's kind of difficult, the, um, the words, because it's from Bangkok, but we are going to try to do it right now. As I said, if you want to, you can participate or not, right? Uh, or you can tell me the, you can tell me the options, right? You can tell me the, the answer, sorry. So let me see here. We are about to begin. Okay, we are going to see the true or false options. Okay, true or false. One time is false. enough to see Bangkok. True or false? False. False, let me see. False, exactly, right? According to the reading, you have to see it many times. Next one. Kao San Road is an authentic Thai area of the city. True or false? True. True. It's false. It's false. It's an authentic. Next one. Let's see. Really fast. Um, it says Pra Kanon is farther away from the main tourist sites than Kao San Road is. True or false? True or false? True. True. Yes, it is true. Very good. Next one. The riverboat taxis often get stuck in traffic too. True or false? False. True. False. 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 Next one. The taking the sky train is fa a faster way to see the city than going by taxi. True. 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 Very good. Very good. Next one. You need to choose where to eat carefully. True or false? False. 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 Very True. good. False. And I guess that's it. Very good. Now um, we are going to finish the class. You will have, let me see here. You will have vacations for next week. Remember next week we won't have classes until the second week of August, okay? So I wish you to have a very good uh, vacation and have a nice night and keep on studying English, okay? Thank you very much for your effort and your presentation for today. Thank, Thank you, sir. Teacher. Thank you. Have a Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Have a nice night. Thank you for all. Thank you for everything. Thank you for everything. Thank you. Teacher. Bye. Yes? Teacher, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, esta es mi primera vez en, en inglés corporativo y no sé cómo, cómo sería el proceso para poder inscribirme al otro módulo o, o es automático o cómo se hace. Uh, creo que es automático o si se le permite seguir, creo que sí, se le, hasta que saque el, 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 el nivel superior, ¿verdad? Pero creo que sí, pero, en pero voy a averiguar. En la plataforma me aparecería entonces ya el otro el otro módulo. Yes, exactly, in the platform. Gracias. Okay, gracias. Have a nice evening. Have a nice wow. vacations. <laughs> Bye. Same. I see you. See you later.